Hi everyone, thank you for posting questions as we requested. Today we are going to do a short video where we will answer some of the questions that have come to us from the Worley Center. So Sunil, the first one, is cardio more effective before or after weights and what duration is ideal? Uh, cardio is best done after training and you will get the maximum fat loss benefit if you do that. Now, what is the ideal cardio? If you are doing continuous training, which you can do maybe once or twice a week, which is running at one pace, is about 20 minutes. Uh, high intensity interval training, when the heart rate is going up, high and then low, can be done for about 10 to 15 minutes max. The uh, high intensity interval training should be done maximum twice a week. Next question, how does flexibility impact your workout? Now, flexibility is important simply because the, uh, the range of movement around the joint, that is what you are talking about. You know, the muscle is the one which allows you to have that movement around the joint. If it's tight, then it will not move that much. The, the fuller the range of movement around the joint, more the benefits. Yeah, and that is what you are meant to do. Full range of movement. Yeah, flexibility, more flexibility allows you to do that in a controlled manner. So, just to question on that, is that somebody who is less flexible and is um, say doing a squat with a certain resistance, it's, would you recommend that the person work on their flexibility at the same weight to increase the range of motion first rather than try to aim for a heavier weight with the same flexibility? Now the thing is uh, for squat because uh, the hamstring comes into play, now uh, when you are trying to improve the flexibility you don't have to use the weights at all. So when you do squat or before and during the warm up and all, you work a lot on the depth. Depth which means where the bum is going down below. So if it is going only till this much after that the back is collapsing, so it's not good. Yeah? So you just work on the depth going down more and more over a period of time. So what will happen is over a period of time you develop the range of movement more and more. And then you slowly add on more and more weights. So, um, so in a nutshell, so work on your depth more before the weight and thereafter. Can I be a power lifter after 54 years? You can be a lifter, power lifter, bodybuilder at whatever the age, you know, there is no age limit to that, okay, it's just that as long as you are above 15 years of age, okay, so any age, 54, 80, any time. Power lifting takes time, so you learn to develop strength and slowly, slowly you get stronger and stronger. So there's no issue. Okay, can I train with another member or a trainer at least once a week or once a fortnight in a group? See, uh, we've been doing this thing, if you notice, you know, we've been doing this thing where the trainer or client or, you know, two, three people exercising together. Yeah, that is more to uh, get, uh, because if you see that, most of it is high intensity interval training. So it's a cardio, uh, cardio resistance uh, interval training which we are doing. So whereby what happens is when we are exercising in, uh, together or two, three people, we have more energy and we can last longer. That is the main reason we do it. And also we, uh, we, uh, we take energy from each other, we give energy, so we are more motivated to be able to do that. So that's not the main, uh, the main focus is of course to get the cardiovascular benefits. Yeah, but when you're doing it like this, it is more fun and more enjoyable, that's what we are, we are trying to inculcate in our normal training programs. Last question from Wernley. Um, I want to do three chin-ups unassisted by the end of this year. Is it possible? If not, let's make it possible. Okay, uh, this is, I, uh, I gather, is from a female. Now, the thing is, uh, uh, in um, our previous email, we had also written about this thing, how to do the chin-up. Okay, so chin up is one of the best exercises, pulling movement and uh, ideally if you are going to learn how to do it very very well, so meet me first so that I can explain to you how it's to be done. Uh, uh, normally you have to first learn how to hang then uh, how to do negative which is on the way down only so you can jump up and slowly come on the way down. So getting uh, used to that movement and slowly over a period of time somebody helping you uh, doing the up and uh, because you are already able to do the down because of the gravity and over a period of time you will develop it. It's quite easy to, to be able to do in that timeline time line, which is nearly 9 months as long as you are practicing. What I would suggest is whenever you come, every time you come to the session, first you practice that and then go into the session.